Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mizra Domission Channel. Today in this session, we're going to learn about how to work with DOM names and how to parse the values in a form fields. In the last session, we have discussed about IDs in the DOM and where we have uh, used an example of a form and where we did some uh, passing values into the form field. So in case if you are new to this session, do watch that session in case if you wanted to work with IDs and for this selenium python so these are the prerequisites that is required to start coding so we need python to be installed pycharm editor and selenium libraries and driver executable files which is nothing but exe files so let's quickly start this session and we'll do on this dome so i'm going to open my pycharm and this is a sample project that we are uh, working on this series and here is my browsers folder where I have all exe files and here is my test case folder where I am storing all the test cases. So I am going to right click to this test cases and I am going to add new python file called test cases. Uh, we can name it as by name so that it could be easier to identify. Right. So whenever we start any uh, automation scripting with Selenium with Python, we need to import Selenium packages. So from Selenium web driver, I, need, I think I need to use import, import web driver. So these are uh, packages that we need to import when we try to start. And then we have web driver dot. So in the last session, we have used an example for Chrome. Here we will see an example for Firefox. So I'm going to work with same thing, but I'm using a different browser. So I'm named this variable as driver. And in this Firefox, we need to pass the driver executable path location. So I already have this in my browsers folder. So in case if you wanted to know from where I have downloaded all this driver executable files, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand all the website details and where I have downloaded all these things. And go to this copy path and copy the absolute path. So in here, we need to pass this as a string type. So as I'm in a Windows operating system, I need to provide this two slashes. and quickly save and then in next line I'm going to use driver dot driver dot maximize window this will maximize my window so this is for so now we need to launch our application URL for now I will use driver dot get and under get statement we need to call the website url so i'm going to use this sample website url where we have uh, elements like name in that so that's the reason i'm using that website and next we will use a finding the page elements for automation so we are working on names element type is name and we're gonna use driver dot find element so we need to use this find element so that whichever value that we are trying to find in the dom that will be given to our driver so driver will be again given to our browser so this commands will be executed in our browser so this we're gonna use this by dot name Okay, and I think we need to import this by from commons, selenium web driver commons, and here is a name. So after that, we need to provide the name details. So again, I will go to this browser. I'm gonna right click and inspect. So here you can see these are all the elements for this form field. So it's an input type, and all the form fields are type of input. So we'll be using this input type 
and here under that you can see name and id so we have a name here so i can use this name tag and i will go back to our code and then after it's an email address so for that we need to send some value so for that i am going to use abc dot abc at the rate one two three dot com so this is a test url that i am going to provide and after that this is entering username and next line i'm gonna use enter password so for this i'm gonna use the same thing drive dot find element by dot name i think this is something which is showing some warning because it's all capitals so here in the name i'm going to use this email so it's a password right so we need to inspect the password so then this password we have this pass value so we can take this pass as an password name and here i need to use send keys again send keys under that i'm going to provide value like so this is my value that i wanted to provide and then after click login so i need to click login button so driver dot find element again so this time we'll see what we have for this button if i inspect i can see still there are names here so you can use this name by dot name dot it send button so we need to use a click action so we all said done and next line i'm going to use this driver dot close so this command will help us to close the driver close the browser once it reaches this right and i'm going to simply save and we'll run this program so as it's a firefox browser it will take little while to open so it is saying that directory invalid so i'm going to use this again one more value called executable path so i'm going to use this executable path and i will click on control alt l so that it will do a quick formatting and again i will execute this program i think it started running so it's a firefox browser so it takes bit delay in opening but actions will be performed quicker so while opening this browser it takes time so it has started and website url is entered so values are been entered here and after that it has to close this window all done so it has closed the window after doing that action so this is how we work with name attribute and sending values into the form field using a send keys and there is a one more uh, tool or a plugin in the browsers where you can use that browsers to find this ids names in a quicker way so that is a uh, selector sub so i have installed that in my chrome plugin so this is a, a plugin i have used so this is a selector sub plugin and if i wanted to enable that so i can enable from this dom so once you open dev tools under that you will see in the styles section you will see more actions where you can see the selectors up here and this will provide all the attributes so we need to just inspect whichever attribute that we wanted to select and once we select so here we have a dom of that particular uh, web element and in the selector sub you can see all the 
the required things are being characterized here so we have this xpath we have this jquery and we have many things here so we have id name so all these things are being filtered here so this is the best tool you can use this when you wanted to uh, try to find the elements from the dom so if you face any difficulty just use this tool and this will help you to uh, make you make the process quicker and also you can use the right click option and you can go again to this uh, tool and you can find this all this quick uh, relative x path relative css selectors js path so all these things you can select from there so these are all planned for this session and in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries do post in my comment box i will help you out and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with colleague thank you for watching